<gasps> that was so crazy. Are you pregnant again? <laughs> assuming because as of yet I still don't know but I'm assuming I'm around seven weeks pregnant and I don't have a lot of symptoms or anything like that to report to you guys this week not much interesting is going on I've been feeling like super super nauseous all week long I've been feeling really really tired um, I guess I kind of touched on some of that when I made my six week update because I made it a little late yeah uh, last week I asked on my Instagram if anybody had any questions related to this pregnancy or anything like that and I said I was gonna do a Q&A video but I thought that for this particular video I would actually answer one of those questions because it seems to be the burning question in like at least 10 people's minds and that is whether or not we are going to have as many kids as we can or if this is our last pregnancy or what's going on and I know that this is like a big question for people because I was asked this question by a lot of people and in so many different ways like it went from questions that ranged from like is this gonna be your last pregnancy all the way to questions like uh, do you guys believe in birth control and so just to let you guys know this is going to be our last biological child I 100% believe in birth control to be honest with you guys and like I've thought a lot about this answer before I made this had life not worked out the way it worked out we probably would have only had two kids for my whole life I wanted to have six kids and the reason I always wanted that is because my mom is from a huge family and my dad is from a huge family like there's literally like 20 aunts and uncles on either side and all of them have kids and um, you know so when we would get together with either side of the family there would just be kids everywhere and noise and crazy and it was just so fun it was like just this house full of like noise and love and then we'd go home and it would just be my brother and I and so ever since I was really young I would say to people when I get older I'm gonna have six kids because that's what I want I want that noisy house every day like I want that to be my life so um, when I met Alex I told him oh yeah you know I'm gonna have six kids and it's funny because when he and I started having kids I think he kind of got this idea in his head that like I was gonna stop wanting six kids eventually like I was gonna like grow out of it um, but around the same time that I started to grow out of the idea Alex really started to grow into the idea of having a big family and so when we had James and Joe for a little bit after we had Joe we were like okay as soon as we can we're gonna have another one like we're just gonna keep this going but then as you guys know my cycle takes a long long time to return after we have a baby and so after I had Joe it took 18 months before my cycle came back and at 18 month you know Joe was walking James was walking they were playing together they were talking we had our little car everyone fit in it nicely we were going everywhere with our kids things were just really really easy like Joe was just starting to potty train so when I got my first cycle back after I had Joe um, that was at 18 months and I said to Alex you know what life is really good right now so maybe let's wait before we have another kid maybe let's wait and see um, you know how we feel in a year or two years or whatever like that the funny thing is is that looking back now I feel like if we had waited like if we had stopped every month that we went beyond that like every month further than that we would have said oh well life's even easier now it's even easier now and we probably legitimately would never have had any more kids but something completely different happened that month when we decided we were gonna wait a little while I said well at the end of this month when my cycle you know resets I am going to go and get birth control and then the end of the month never came <laughs> I found out that same month that I was pregnant with Lily and so then we had Lily and I, I gotta say like every day that we had Lily for the first like year that we had her Alex and I talked about the fact that we almost like if I hadn't gotten pregnant that month we almost would never have had her and she was so like she's such an integral part of our family that it's just like I can't imagine life not having worked out that way and I'm a huge believer in like 
the cards are all gonna fall where they will. Like things are already ready to go and this is how it was meant to be. So yeah, so we had Lily and after we had Lily, um, James became really obsessed with this idea that we needed to have one more baby. He said we needed to have one more girl in order to make our family complete. And I have to say that for the first little while that he started asking for one more baby and one more girl, we kept saying to him, you know, James, you can't choose. And that was a really, really devastating thing for him at first. Like he didn't realize that you don't get to pick the next sibling that you're gonna have in your family. But eventually, Joe started asking, and then even Lily started asking. And Alex and I got to this point where we were probably like, pretty much finished, I think. Like Alex and I were like, everything is good right now. Everything is easy. As you guys know, my cycle didn't even return. And well, I mean, it never returned, but it would have returned when Lily was 22 or 23 months old. Um, but instead I got pregnant that month. But yeah, like, I mean, life was so easy at that point that I think Alex and I, we were done, but for the sake of our children, really not feeling like our family was complete, we were like, maybe we should have one more. As you guys know, I found out I was pregnant in June of this year. That's the baby I ended up miscarrying. And I have to say that like, you always know when you're breastfeeding that there's this chance you're gonna get pregnant. Like you're like, eventually my cycle's gonna come back and you know, just like by chance, if I happen to be doing stuff two weeks before my cycle's supposed to come back, even though I don't know that it's two weeks before my cycle's gonna come back, um, there is a chance that I could get pregnant. Even though you know that there is that chance, you just don't think that's gonna happen. And so, when I found out that I was pregnant in June, I went through this array of emotions because first of all, I knew that our kids didn't feel like our family was complete, but secondly, I felt really, really guilty bringing another child into this world when there was already so many children in this world. That is another thing that Alex and I have struggled enormously with, is the fact that we would love to adopt. Like, that is something that we have talked about since right after we had Joe, and Unfortunately, like I just see how hard it is for people. I see how hard it is when you, especially when you already have kids and you have people coming into your house and pointing out all the ways that you're raising your children wrong and stuff like that. Like there is so much involved in adoption that is, is really actually like stressful and um, nerve wracking and stuff like that, that we didn't feel like we could make it happen. But at the same time, when I found out I was pregnant, I still felt really guilty that there are children out there who need adoption and I was here making another child. So that was something that I really, really struggled with. And then as you guys know, I actually miscarried that baby. And after I miscarried that baby, Joe especially had a really, really hard time. Because in our family, James and Lily are exactly the same. James is my first, Lily is my third, if you're new here. But James and Lily are like the same person. They look the same, they act the same, they wanna play the same games, they love each other, they are best friends. And Joe is the odd one out. Like he's my shy, quiet boy who's very sensitive and nurturing and he's totally different than James and Lily. And he's always talked about how he needs a friend of his own in our family. Like he needs a pair for him. And is Alex gonna save Lily? Sorry, they're at the park right now and she's stepping out on a ladder. Sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, like, so after the miscarriage, I think that like it hurt Joe the most because he was like, that was supposed to be my friend that you were gonna give birth to. And as you guys know, like, I mean, I actually, I don't know if you guys know or not, but after the miscarriage, it is really shocking that I got pregnant again before a cycle even returned. Like I am not 100% sure how that happened because I was not feeling very funky right after having a miscarriage. So yeah, I don't know how that happened, but I wound up pregnant again and everybody was happy. I mean, we're all overjoyed, but there will always be that feeling of guilt inside of me because like, I do feel like there are so many kids in this world who need families and we're bringing another child into this world. And that is something that my heart is grappling with all the time. So the kids are really happy. And of course we're really happy, but this will absolutely be our last biological child. And if we feel that urge in the future at any point to have any more children we will 100% do whatever it takes jump through whatever hoops in order to go through the adoption process or something like that and I don't know why I've had this feeling since Joe was about 11 months old 
I've had this feeling like like the size of our family was not gonna be up to us. And when I say that, I mean like I've always had this feeling that like at some point, and I don't know how, we're gonna end up with a child that is not biologically ours in our family. And in my head, like the feeling that I get is that we're not gonna go out of our way to get this child, so I don't know where they're gonna come from or I don't know the story about it or anything like that. It's just this feeling that I've had. And so when I say to you this is our last biological pregnancy, this is our last biological pregnancy. When I say to you this might not be our last child, it's just because I just, I feel like in my heart this probably won't be our last child, but we'll see what the future holds and what the future brings. And now the sun is getting in my eyes because it was behind a tree and it's just gone low enough to be underneath like the one bare spot in the tree that it could go. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys can still see me, but I cannot see the camera now. <laughs> to answer your question, I absolutely believe in birth control. This will 100% be our last biological child. After I give birth to this child, pretty much immediately Alex is going to go and have a vasectomy and so that we don't like have to even think about that anymore like it won't even be a question in our head it'll just be this is the way things are I don't believe in just like bringing children into the world willy-nilly I'm not one of those people who's like well we're just gonna stay off of birth control forever and whatever happens happens like I, I think that everything happens you know for a reason but I also think that like we have to act with judgment in order to make our lives play out the way that they're supposed to so yeah we are not like Christians or anything like that like we don't believe in just letting stuff be and whatever happens happens we don't want to have 11 kids <laughs> I can safely say to you guys that I am 100% done. Like this is our last baby and that is that. <laughs> so anyways, I hope I answered your questions and I um, mean that was only like some of the questions but I will be back and I will make another Q&A video. But yeah, I hope that answers your questions and I guess that I will see you guys next week. Bye.